Hello everybody. So today I came to check on the horses and uh, they're all fine. They hadn't been itching so that's good in a way that they haven't been scratching but it does say that the wormer can take like 48 to 72 hours for it to kick in so I am just keeping an eye on them. Last night I came a couple of times just to make sure that they were okay that they weren't scratching in the stable and just to check that they didn't get colic um, like a tummy ache because a lot of people don't know that horses um, when they are sick so when they get a stomach ache they can't be they can't throw up so when they do get a stomach ache they tend to lay down and roll and thrash around in their stable which is very dangerous because what that does is that then gives the horse a twisted gut so all of that rolling around twists their gut and that can be fatal if uh, you don't get a vet out very quickly so um yeah so i'm just making sure that they were okay that they were not sick they weren't scratching and all is good so far <laughs> so that's good news so i'm just gonna have to be very vigilant for the next few days and we've got the vet coming out in two days so he can keep have a look at them and make sure they're all good and in good health but yeah so i'm just going to go and check on them again now they're out in the field it has been really sunny today and now it's gone all gray and i can feel a few specks of rain so hopefully it doesn't rain too hard or i wasn't gonna have to get the horses in but yeah let's go and see them actually just quickly i can't go and see them without getting them some carrots so i just grabbed them some There's Greenie Beanie! Greenie Beanie! <laughs> Are you running around? Oh! Hello! Are you excited? Are you very excited? Your bum. It's a bit windy out here. Oh my god! Calm down. Look, you can see her eyes now. She's got all this gunk coming out. Oh, hopefully we get rid of that queen bean. Elsa, come on. Got a carrot. Want a carrot? Elsa! Elsa gets uh, very bored out here because she knows her limits with eating so when she's when she's had enough she'll just stand there. She's uh, not used to having this much grass and neither is Queenie. Elsa! Come on! Right, finish your carrot you. Greenie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, you haven't got any more. The last carrot is for Elsa. Yeah. Oh. There you go, sweet up. There you go. Run, run. <laughs> She's dropped the carrot. Look, get it quick. <laughs> she got it. Greedy guts. Right, so it is just going to be a short video today. I just thought I'd give you an update on how the horses were doing after their wormers. There's nothing to uh, report today. 
they're good but um yeah just keeping an eye on them and uh yeah we'll see how it goes greeny having a little scratch That Queenie being bossy and Elsa saying keep away from me or you'll get my foot. <laughs> Elsa, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. What is it Queenie? What is it? What can you smell? Right, I'm just sitting here under the tree on my little perch. <laughs> Queenie's having a little roll. <laughs> so that is a, that could be a sign that she's a bit itchy as well, her rolling in the field because she hasn't got anything else to scratch on apart from the floor. Do generally like to roll anyway, so it could be either. Hello, Queen Ben. Hello. But you've just come to join me, you and you, yeah. Right, so I thought um, I'd just answer a few questions and things that I didn't. Um, talk about yesterday that are probably important so the um the neck thread worms and how they're spread basically um it's midges so the horses have these microorganisms on their skin in their fur and then the midges come along they eat them and then those microorganisms grow in the midge's stomach the midge then goes back to its host which is a horse it's going to bite the horse and lay those um, basically the larvae of the threadworm the neck threadworm into the horse and then those travel through the horse's bloodstream into the um, ligament on the top of the neck and that's where they grow so that's how they're spread and so then what happens is you've got a horse that's infected with it and then you're going to get the midges are going to come out and take basically the dead larvae so once the larvae have um done what they're doing they if they can't get into the skin if they can't get under the skin for any reason they're going to die on the horse on the outside of the horse on the skin and then those midges are going to pick them up they're going to eat them grow some more and put them on another horse so that's how Elsa's got them so they can't be spread through manure they can't be spread from being in the same stable they can't be spread from wearing the same rugs it doesn't work like that the only way that these um, worms can survive and live is through midges those tiny little flies that you can't even see that's what's doing it so and obviously in in uh, warmer humid areas you're going to get more midges than you would somewhere like here so that's how they spread quicker in those areas like where Queenie came from so yeah it doesn't have anything to do like they can't just spread it it has to be from fly to fly to another animal basically um, but manure does play a part because obviously if you've got a really smelly field full of manure that you haven't picked up or a stable that's smelly because you haven't cleaned it out you're going to get a lot more midges and yeah so basically now 
I do it anyway. I clean the stables every day. They get a deep clean once a week, so they're never smelly. Um, and also, I, pe I pick up the poo from the fields. And uh, yeah, so the next step after that prevention of the flies is to get them some fly rugs and lots of fly repellent. So um, you can use citronella for horses, which is natural. There's many, many fly sprays on the market there that you can buy, you just squirt the horse every time they go out. Fly masks to keep the flies out of their face and ears. Yeah, so it's just that really. There's nothing else that can be done. And uh, fingers crossed, I mean, I don't really want them to have it, but fingers crossed that's what they've got and we've got the cure for it or the remedy for, for it and uh, it goes away. I mean, otherwise, you don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it, I think 100% that's what they've had or what Queenie's had and given to Elsa. And There we go. But yeah, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that commented. Um, you're, you're all so very kind and thoughtful. And I know that um, they're they're my horses, but really they're the chateau horses. That's what I call them, the chateau horses. Um, and everybody's got a shared interest in them. All you guys that watch, I know you really care about them and you help out a lot from watching the videos, watching the adverts and from buying Queenie and Elsa a carrot on Buy Me A Coffee. That's so generous of you. And it is really, really appreciated because it all helps. And uh, yeah. So I just wanted to say, and I never really say this, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscription button. It's free and it just means that when um, I upload a video, you're going to get a notification about it. So click subscribe and the little bell button. And uh, yeah, that's all folks. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again tomorrow. I am this week going to be doing daily vlogs not this week sorry i am this month going to be doing daily videos i'll try to as much as possible so yeah buddy yeah come on oh he's so pretty come on come on come on come on oh, oh. he's so gorgeous Yes, 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 yes. Ah.